guys, it's Moody here, and uh, this is actually a pretty short drawing video. Um, this one um, ended up taking me about, I think it was an hour, and sped up by like a lot of times. This only really equals to about six minutes, so that's like about half the time of what some of my other videos have taken. And here in the beginning, I kind of mess up. I don't even know what pose I want this thing to have, but. Um, I'm actually, uh, I think I'm better with, uh, drawing people, but that's just me. You know, it's easier than, uh, drawing animals, really, to me. I don't really know why. I guess it's because I, well, my drawing history, so basically what this video is going to be about. Um, I started drawing, apparently, there are pictures of me, like, drawing when I was, like, two or three or something, you know, really young age, and then that carried off to, as as far as I can remember, that carried off to elementary school as well, because in elementary school, me and a group of friends actually, we had this comic, <laughs> it was a really cheesy comic though, but we had this uh, thing that started off as like note passing but then we turned it into this whole superhero versus villain thing and what I ended up doing was uh, drawing comics for that and that's where that started so you know I'm kind of used to drawing humans and it, it, it really started off with manga I think because a lot of my um, stuff is that style or it used to be I don't know and then um, from that, uh, I mean, I, did, I wasn't really in any special art programs in elementary school or, uh, uh, intermediate school, or junior high, as you call it. I wasn't really in any special art programs, and never really, I never really took any classes or anything for it, and, um, what, everything I do or whatever is purely self-taught, um, I used to look at a lot of uh, well, my mom, she's a nurse, and I used to look through her, um, what do you call it, anatomy books a lot, um, when I drew humans, and then, uh, a couple birthdays ago, my grandma bought me some, uh, like, National Geographic, like, this whole encyclopedia of, like, animals, so, you know, sometimes I use that for reference whenever I draw animals, so those really help with anything you really you should start off by looking at reference and then you know you can sort of make it out in your head like from your imagination once you're used to drawing it from reference and you know the proportions or whatever of stuff so you know it's it's a pro it's a process process <sighs> i don't know what i'm saying um you know it takes a while you're not gonna learn it overnight so it's not something you should feel discouraged about and i'm certainly by no means like the best person out there i purely do this as a hobby and that's that's really all it is to me nothing more and um people well no i was gonna go in like i was also in an art program throughout high school all four years of high school i went to this school it was an art school well, it was like an art school of like, you know, music, theater, and then art, art, fine art. And in that program, I, 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 um, uh, I, it kind of tore me away from, you know, the whole comic manga style and got me into more realism, which was a good thing though. I've definitely improved upon, um, first entering that school because what they did at the end of the year was they showed our, like, um, portfolios that we submitted in order to like get into the school so it, it was fun to compare the two and uh, I've definitely improved so it's always good to keep your old works around even if you think they're you know bad just to compare and see um, progress because that's really the only way you're gonna um, see progress is over time and if you do it a lot and you know, I carry around a sketchbook of this stuff. And you know, what What other people do ask me though is how I draw. Um, I use a tablet, mine's a Wacom, 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 uh, whatever it's called, an Intuos. And you know, it's, it's not like a touchscreen computer, but it's like a tablet and what you have is a pen, so I'm not stuck drawing with a mouse because I tried that at some point. And that was horrendous, guys, trust me. Um, I used to draw, uh, like back in 
uh, in junior high, I still didn't have a tablet, and I was on Neopets a lot, and that's where a lot of, like, fan art was that I did. So, um, I used to draw, like, with paint and a mouse. Looking back on it, that was the worst experience ever. It was so bad. But, you know, I made the best of it. Um, and it's... Artists and art isn't really as much it's about the tools as it is about the scale and the mind and you know how how you do choose to draw things so just you know remember that it's not as much your tools as it is your mind and you know just keep that in mind and um this is a very short drawing video but uh, i hope you guys enjoyed hopefully the next one is going to be a bit more insightful but this is just a small portion. Uh, you guys have a little background knowledge of my artistic experience. And there's always room for improvement with everyone. And if you guys haven't noticed, what I drew was uh, basically like a human form of a Milotic. So maybe it might be a bit uh, explicit for you guys. But, you know, I'd tap that. <laughs> and with that, uh, I love you guys. And bye.